hello guys thanks for watching our channel and welcome back again to nanisto tv kindly subscribe to this channel so that when we upload our subsequent videos you'll get them and watch today the wife of the murdered police officer at ablikuma farm in accra has spoken and given her word about how she was able to hear the news of her murdered husband who was shot multiple times at ablikuma in a bullion van robbery Let's have a watch of I what she for, said. Um, a program I was doing, so when I closed from there, I decided to call him, but the number wasn't going through. But at 12, I called him that, oh, daddy, please, I'm done. I, I thought I can't finish, but I'm able to finish. So they said I should pay 150 cities for the biometric. So can you please send it to me? And he told me, okay. Then he called me back and told me that the network is not good, so I'll send it to you later. So within 10 minutes time, he called me and told me I've sent it. And because I was in a hurry, I don't want to go and come and come. So I just said, okay, thank you. Then I just went to withdraw the money and I went to do the biometric. So at 1.40, I was done. And I was coming home and I said, let me call and check up on him. He didn't pick. So I was thinking sometimes when they are with the bullion van like that, he says that he doesn't want to make a call because he always sees that place to be high risk. And he's always saying, my duty is, is risky and I'm risking my life. Every day he tells me, just because of you guys, I have to risk my life for you. So anything that I give you, please try and manage, know how to manage. So he didn't pick, so I was thinking maybe when they are with the bullet van like that, when uh, he won't pick, especially when they are doing them counting and those things, so he will not pick. After everything, and you pick and tell me, okay. So I thought that's it, that was it. So I went home. I have a son. So I sent the son to my mom's place at Pick Farm. So I went to pick him. And I was telling my mother, since morning, because of the exercise, I have not eaten, so we should prepare some food. So when we were about to prepare the food, and a colleague from his workplace called me, that, oh, how are you? I said, I'm fine. How is my brother? And I said, oh, he's fine. Are you home? And I said, no, please. And he said, and I said, so where is, where is Kalis? And I said, oh, Kalis, he might be at, he might be home because by two they've closed. So I'm not home, but I think he's home. But my phone is spot. And he said, oh, where did I go for a while? What's it? So I thought the phone, that was what he said. So immediately, my heart started beating. I tried calling. I called like 10 times. He wasn't picking. So as my mother was speaking to me, my mind was in there. I was just praying. Then my mother said, my mom just had a call. And when we, when, when we saw the number, I asked my mom, mom, what's number? And she said, oh, no number. And I said, then this one is from the police administration. So they said, I want to talk to the wife. And I just said, please, I'm here. He said, can you give me your number? I want to come to your place. And I said, okay. Then I gave them the number. So I called a friend back and said, oh, please, what is it? What is wrong? Please tell me my heart. And he said, everything is under control. So I thought maybe robbery and then maybe they stolen the money so he has been taken into maybe in, under investigations or something because i my mind didn't go to death so i was like oh why please tell me oh i know that the bullion va is very risky because he always tells me even if he's going it ask them is the car air conditioned is the car bullet, bulletproof if it's not i'll not go and they'll tell them oh please are you, are you okay this and this which route what time we close because i don't i don't i'm always time conscious and they will say oh we will close by two then i happen and those things say okay so when when he, he did that and then the guy said oh everything is under control i said tell me he didn't tell me so i started going through his the phone i'm using is his old phone so his friends when i just see general constable general this general this inspector i just call i was just calling them just calling all the numbers and they were saying everything is under control everything is under control I said, ah, what is happening i said mom let's come home we just came home straight because they said they will come 
So when we just came, and then uh, my dad, we called my dad, and my dad told, told us that, okay, uh, I said everybody is saying everything is under control, Every, what is happening? They should let us know. And then my, my dad just called that. I've seen, uh, a, I just saw a message, and it just popped up on my screen that a police officer has been shot at Ablekuma. And that is his roots. They go to Anya, Ablekuma, so too. So my mother just called me, Amanda, bra, bra, bra. Where does he go for, where does he go for the operations? I said, uh, Ablekuma. I said, Ene, yekuwa mwa. That was how we heard it. So the, the police administration still didn't tell us. So when it just did that, we just started. Yeah, so guys, those were the words of Amanda. That is the late police officer who was shot multiple times at a black farm in a bullion van robbery. According to her, she even received money from the late husband before his death. Kindly subscribe to this channel or subsequent.